Step number six, other threads component. There is a low power feature which was recently introduced in ThreadX. We implemented also from our side. What happens here is that you can go in sleep and uh, waking up uh, on, uh, on an interrupt and uh, go on running your, uh, your task. Mm, let's say that I need to put my system into sleep. What will be the best uh, place into a running schedule of an operating system to put the device in sleep mode or in a low power mode? So we are seeing different views, different sequences uh, where we saw that, OK, we execute the thread and then uh, the scheduler passes the control to another thread if one exists or to another task which uh, actually is there to do a certain function. What happens is that uh, we can go into sleep when I do not have threads to execute. So when idle task is executed. And the nice thing is that the user can decide the low power state they prefer and wake up as well. So without uh, low power mode, the idle task normally calls waiting for interrupt. And in low power mode instead, uh, we call a function where the user can select the preferred power mode. So you saw maybe from the previous uh, view of the Cube ID that we kept uh, the TX low power example with us. And uh, I will spend two minutes to show you how, how it works. Uh, this is included uh, in, uh, by the way, in the uh, in the Cube pack. It's cube as well as under project nuclear application thread. You have the TX low power example and we are. I'm going to show you exactly this one, but very briefly. So the entry point is called TX low power entry. So I'm going to click on control H. And uh, and put uh, uh, TX low power entry as a file search. I will initiate initiate the search and where I finish with no surprise in the schedule. So you see that uh, the schedule has the possibility to enter in low power mode. If I, co I press control and click. I can go into. Basically the TX low power dot uh, C, which. Uh, by the way, is also defined inside up thread dot C. So. We can now enter into the um, TX low power entry function. OK, so you will see that in a TX low power entry function, which is in a TX low power dot C, what we do is to set TX low power user enter. And if I go into the Excel power user enter, I finish again in upthread.c. And in upthread.c, I, uh, I can select the low power mode I want. So I hope to, to have shown you how we move basically from the idle uh, to upthread.c, in which we can uh, select during the idle the power mode in which we want to jump into. And this is, of course, very relevant for low power applications. I leave you with uh, a, the final slide, which is uh, performance info. So you can get uh, performance statistics inside the app for every element of the operating system, not just the thread, but even mutex, Q and semaphore. You can have uh, the performance system info uh, that gives information about the system states. For example, how many threads uh, we have resumed, how many uh, interrupts and preemptions we had, how many time slices we used, and so on and so forth. And of course, this performance info is enabled at the level of software pack for uh, microcontrollers like, a like H7 who do not have the native integration with Azure TOS. I hope you had some uh, good overview regarding the Threadex uh, integration into our STM cube uh, ecosystem.